Jake Gyllenhaal has finally spoken about Taylor Swift's infamous All Too Well film and the subsequent backlash against him from Swifties. In a new interview with Esquire, the actor, whom Taylor briefly dated in 2010, tells the mag he thinks the track, quote, has nothing to do with me, adding, it's about her relationship with her fans. It is her expression. Artists tap into personal experiences for inspiration, and I don't begrudge anyone that. But he does take issue with one thing, telling the outlet, at some point, I think it's important when supporters get unruly that we feel a responsibility to have them be civil and not allow for cyberbullying in one's name. That begs for a deeper philosophical question, not about any individual per se, but a conversation that allows us to examine how we can or should even take responsibility for what we put into the world, our contributions into the world. When asked specifically if he's listened to Red, Taylor's version, Gyllenhaal replies, no. As for what led us to this point of Jake breaking his silence, it started back in November 2021, when Taylor dropped an extended version of All Too Well, her iconic breakup track rumored to be about the Donnie Darko star, on her recently released album Red, Taylor's version, as well as an accompanying short film. Following the drop, Swifties were reeling over the re-recorded tune, the whole scarf situation, and any evidence pointing to Taylor's romance with Jake as the hidden message of it all. But at the time, a source close to Jake told E! News that the factor was paying no mind. Jake has no interest in any of it, the insider shared. He doesn't read gossip or pay any attention to that. The source added of Jake, he's living his life and focused on himself. He's ignoring all of the noise. When Red was first released in 2012, many fans started speculating that some of the album's songs, including her smash hit We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, were about the fallout from the relationship. Taylor herself has never confirmed or denied the theories behind Red, nor has she specifically named Jake as the muse. However, the Swifty speculation continued, and in January, the convo was fueled by a pic of Jake taken for W Magazine that featured Gyllenhaal wearing red heart-shaped sunglasses, like the ones Taylor rocked in the music video for her track, 22. Coincidence? Swifties didn't think so, with one commenting, is he feeling 22? In his new interview with Esquire, Jake says the period post All Too Well has given him a new perspective. He tells the mag, my life is wonderful. I have a relationship that is truly wonderful, and I have a family I love so much. And this whole period of time has made me realize that.